Hi students. In this lecture, I am going to discuss problems based on buoyancy force. Let us see first one. A 20 Newton metal block is suspended by a spring balance. A beaker containing some water is placed on a weighing machine which reads 40 Newton. The spring balance is now lowered so that the block gets immersed in the water. The spring balance reads now 16 Newton. The reading of the weighing machine will be. Let us see how to start. So first see the given data. So it is given that metal block weight is 20 suspending from spring balance. This is now spring balance. So its weight is given 20 Newton. <coughs> This is a spring balance. You can see the diagram is like this. This is spring balance. Right now, the so next condition a beaker containing some water is placed on a weighing machine. So, take a beaker here, so which contains water. This is placed on a weighing machine. It reads now 40 Newton. Reading is now 40 Newton. The spring balance is now lowered so that the block gets immersed in water. The spring balance now reads 16 Newton. So now what we are doing is this block is now completely immersed in water. Okay. <clears throat> Then see what happens. When block is completely inside, the reading of the spring balance, now that becomes, this is now spring balance. You are having reading like this. This is now 16 Newton. Then see what happens here. 16 means force by liquid on the block is opposed. So initially 20, now 16. That means force of buoyancy, or you can say buoyancy force. That is now 4 Newton. A liquid exert force on the block upwards. Then block exert force on liquid downwards. That means a reading of the weighing machine will be it was initially 40. So now it becomes 44. See carefully the logic. A liquid exert a force on the block that is a 4 Newton upwards. Then block exert a force on liquid downwards. It is same magnitude. That's why Reading of the weighing machine becomes 40 plus 4. It is 44. Okay. So it is a very simple and direct one. Right. <clears throat> See next one. So answer is option C 44. Right. 44. Right. So the next one. <clears throat> An ornament. Weighing 36 gram in air weighs only 34 gram in water. Assuming that some copper is mixed with gold to prepare the ornament, find the amount of copper in it and we are given specific gravity of gold and that of copper. 
So condition is ornament weighs 36 gram in air. So remember here, this is not a mass. Okay. It's actually weight, 36 gram weight. And when it is immersed in water, it weighs 34 gram weight. Okay. This is weight and this is also weight point because mass is a constant. Okay. Let us see how to start. <laughs> so first focus given data. Its weight is given 36 in year. That means mass 36 gram. So first condition. Mass of gold plus mass of copper. That is equal to 36 gram. Okay. So first condition. That means weight equal to how much? 36 gram weight. Okay. Next. It weighs only 34 gram weight in water. That means buoyancy force. Force of buoyancy is equal to 2 gram weight. It is 2 gram weight. That means 2 grams in 2 G. Okay. That means see what we can write here. We have learned that buoyancy force is equal to volume inside into density of liquid into G. Okay. So volume. See what is volume. That volume can be taken as volume of gold plus volume of copper. And see we are given specific gravity of gold and that of copper. So I am writing here volume of gold is so we are knowing that mass equal to volume into density. So volume equal to mass by density. <laughs> Let's see. Volume of gold. That is mass of gold upon density of gold. That is 19.3. So this volume is now in cc. Okay. Because mass is in grams. Density is in gram per cc, right? Next, in the same way, volume of copper, mass of copper upon density of copper, that is given 8.9. 8.9, this is volume. That volume into, that volume into density of liquid, it is now given water, the density of water is 1 gram per cc into G. That is equal to 2 gram weight. So 2 into into G. Okay, 2 gram weight. G gets cancelled. Now here, equation 1. This is equation. And see number of unknowns. <coughs> number of unknowns. Mass of gold, mass of copper. Two one knowns and we have two equations, right? Mass of gold, mass of copper. So by solving equation one and equation two, solving these two, we are going to get mass of gold and mass of copper. So I hope you can do calculation. <clears throat> Let us see the next problem. <laughs> Let's see the question given. Refer to the previous problem. Suppose the goldsmith argues that he has not mixed copper or any other material with gold. Rather, some cavities might have been left inside the ornament. Calculate the volume of the cavities left that will allow the weights given in that problem. So we are taking the same previous problem. The only change, instead of mixing something, now we have to take that as there might be some cavities. So we have to find volume of the cavities left. Let us see where change comes. 
So for us now, first of all, given data, 36 gram weight. That means now it is a purely gold. Okay, nothing is mixed. So mass of gold equal to 36 gram. Okay. So previously we have taken mass of gold plus mass of copper equal to 36. Now it is only mass of gold. Right. Let us take. This is now gold. And in that, for example, we have some cavities. Volume of cavities. Take it as. Suppose this is now cavity. This volume of cavities we see volume of cavity and suppose total volume is V. Okay. That means now gold is present only in this volume. Okay. Not inside this. Okay. This is a cavity. Cavity means it is a free space. Nothing is present. So gold is present only in this volume. So in this volume means it is V minus VC. This is volume of gold. See carefully, okay? That volume into density of gold. That gives mass of gold. That is 36 gram. Okay? Right. Next we can see, it weighs only 36 gram weight in water. So, balance force 2 gram weight. Again, same. Balance force equal to 2 gram weight. So 2 into G. Okay. And balance force equal to volume in water. Volume means this is now volume, right? Which is in water. So volume is V. Density of water into G. So this gives us balance force. Now see calculation part. So we can cancel G and G. <laughs> Density of water that is one. So from this volume, total volume equal to two cc. Okay. So we got now total volume. Now take this result in this one. Okay. This is a two. That is two. Two minus vc. That is equal to thirty six upon c density of gold. Density of gold is it is 19.3 gram per cc. And see how much we are going to get. So I think this calculation comes out to be 1.86. Approximately 1.86. That means volume of cavities left. That is equal to. 2 minus 1.86 and that will be equal to 0 0.146. Okay. So I hope you got the clarity. Let us see next problem. Let's see the question. A ferry boat has internal volume 1 meter cube and weight 50 kg. Neglecting the thickness of the wood, find the fraction of the volume of the boat immersed in water. Next, if a leak develops in the bottom and water starts coming in, what fraction of the boat's volume will be filled? with water before water starts coming in from the sides. So given volume, internal volume, one meter cube, weight is 50 kg. Okay. Right. First, we have to find fraction of the volume of the boat immersed in water. See how to start. So it is given a boat.
Suppose boat is like this. Let us say when boat is floating, suppose this is now water level. Some part of the volume, some part of the boat's volume is now inside water. So first we have to find out fraction of the volume of the boat immersed. See what happens. Since a boat is floating, see whenever question given, a body floats, a body floating. So you have to keep in mind, body floating means net force on that body equal to zero. You can see. Gravitational force mg that is downwards, and this force must be balanced by buoyancy force, right? So, whenever question given body floating, we have to focus that net force equal to zero. So, weight is balanced by buoyancy force. Then, see what we are writing here weight means total volume of the body into density of body into G. This must be balanced by buoyancy force. Suppose volume inside, it is a V suffix I, okay? Volume inside into density of liquid into G. So I have written there, buoyancy force balancing weight of the body. This is a force of, sorry, this is weight and this is buoyancy force. Okay, now see G and G gets cancelled. Volume inside upon total volume. This is now fraction of volume inside. That is equal to, that is equal to, see what we get? Density of body upon density of liquid. So from this we can say a body floats if its density is less than that of liquid. Okay, this is one condition. And remember, this is not depending on whether this body is placed inside a lift or it is on ground. For example, let us say half of the volume is inside. That means 50 percent is now inside lift. Now, if we are placing this arrangement, I am taking question is just like there is a one vessel which contains liquid. A body is now floating with a half of its volume inside. Okay. Now we are placing this inside lift, which is having acceleration. Even in that case also, fraction of volume will be same, 50% only, because densities are constants. Okay. So when you are placing this arrangement inside lift, whatever may be the acceleration of the lift, fraction of volume inside liquid does not change. Right? Let's see. Now see, coming to our problem. Now here, this boat is floating. Since the boat is floating, I am taking again same condition. Weight of the boat is balanced by force of balance. So force of balance means volume inside liquid into density of liquid. That is one. It is water. Or if you are taking in SS system, it will be 1000. Volume inside into density of water. Density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. 1000 kg per meter cube into G. Okay. This is a force of balance. Now, this should balance weight of the boat. And the weight of the boat given it is a 50 kg. That is mass of the boat into G. Okay. This is weight of the boat. Now, G gets cancelled. Okay. So, volume inside water is equal to 
fifty upon thousand. Okay, zero zero cancel five by hundred. It is one by twenty. Okay, and you can see total volume. Total volume is given as one meter cube. This is now one by twenty meter cube. So what is now fraction? Fraction means volume inside by total volume. That is again equal to 1 by 20. Okay. And this has no units. Okay. Right. Let us see the next one. So next what we have to do. If a leak develops in the bottom and water starts coming in, what fraction of the boat's volume will be filled with water before water starts coming in from the sides. Now see condition given. Let's make a diagram for the given condition. Now boat is see liquid is now about to come from sides. About to come from sides means boat is almost completely filled. It is like this, okay? The sea is level of water. Okay? That means its entire volume is inside water. And still it is now floating. Therefore, again I am writing, weight is balanced by balance force. So, balance force equal to Volume inside, it is now total volume, it is 1. Density of water, 1000 into G. This is now balance force, which is balancing. Now we can see, we are having some water now inside the boat. Okay. <clears throat> then, this balance force has to balance weight of the boat plus weight of water inside the boat, mass of water into G. Okay. See equation carefully. This is now balance force, which is equal to, or which is balancing weight of the boat plus mass of water is inside. So weight of water present inside the boat. Now see calculation part. <clears throat> So coming to calculation part G cancels throughout 1000. This is a 50. So mass of water present inside the boat. 1000 minus 50. It is 950. <clears throat> right. This is mass of water. Which is equal to volume of water present inside boat into density of water. And density of water is now 1000. That means... Volume of water inside boat equal to 1 zero gets cancelled 95 upon 100, right? That is equal to how much? 19 upon 20. This is volume of water inside boat. Now we have to find what fraction of the boat's volume is filled. Since boat volume is 1, Volume of water upon total volume that is equal to this is <clears throat> meter cube. This is now 19 by 20. This is a fraction. Okay. No, it's for this. Right. This is our final answer. So whenever body floating, we have to write weight is balanced by balance force and a fraction of volume inside. Liquid is equal to density of body by density of liquid. So these points you have to keep in mind. Let us see the next one. Right. Now see the question given. A cubical block of ice floating in water has to support a metal piece weighing half kg. 
what can be the minimum edge of the block so that it does not sink in water. See the question carefully. It is a cubical block of ice. Okay. Has to support a metal piece weighing G half kg. What can be the minimum edge of the block so that it does not sink in water? Right. See how to start. Okay. Condition given that cubical block of files. It does not sink in water. So cubical block of ice. So we are placing now. It is given a metal piece weighing half kg. There is now a metal metal piece. Its weight is now half kg. 0 0.5. Okay. What can be the minimum edge of the block so that it does not sink? Does not sink means let us take the limiting case means about to sink. So when we are taking limiting case, it is about to sink. This is now level of water. Okay. About to sink. Then see now what we have to do. That means condition is that the system is now floating. System is floating. Then we can write weight of this ice plus weight of the metal piece. Sum is balanced by balance force. See here what I am writing. Weight of the metal piece. 0 0.5 in coaching. That is weight of the metal piece plus weight of the this cubical ice block right that is now suppose side length is a if side length is a then volume is a cube into density of ice given specific gravity of ice is 0 0.9 that means it is 900 kg per meter cube so volume into density, that is mass of ice into G, that is weight of ice. Sum of these weights are balanced by balance force. See how much volume is now inside liquid. That is a cube, right? Entire volume of ice block. So volume inside into density of water, that is 1000 into G. Right, and remind just a calculation part. See, throughout G gets cancelled. G cancel, and remaining is now see what else left. A cube, A cube thousand. This is nine hundred. Remaining is now hundred A cube. That is equal to half. Check it once. 1000 minus 900. So 100 A cube equal to half. Right. That means A cube equal to it is equal to 1 by 200. Okay, this is meter cube. Right. Now from this C, the value of A that comes approximately 0. 0 0.17 meter or if you want in centimeter that is 17 centimeter so only key point is that sum of the weights is balanced by balance force and remain just a calculation part okay 